All right, in this video episode, we will be looking at how to manufacture this um, in a pretty handy flashing tool for uh, at Mega Chips. So first thing you do, you take this pre-cut sockets. Three of them are needed. You line them up properly and fit the wire through each of the holes. There's six of them. And once that's done, you will have to separate each of the plates by about half an inch uh, from each other and use your glue gun uh, to you know inject some in between and then squeeze on them so they stick together very firmly and you want to make sure you have enough glue in there in between of the plates that way you secure the wires even more uh, for example in the case if the hole is too big and the wire is like loose that's not going to be good for you know making connection to the actual mega chip so this is pretty much the first step. Step number two is to prepare the cable itself. I soldered uh, four and two, so a total of six pins. Um, and you just solder them to each of the wires. And so we have ground VCC, and then we have uh, reset pin, we have MOSI, we have MISO, and we have SCK. This side, I have pre-cut them to proper length, so that it makes it much more easier uh, for soldering down to the socket itself. And those are the dimensions they have to follow up. So if you line up your cable like that on a piece of paper, mark, make those markings to where you want to make cuts to. And so the first pin on the, on the right is crowned, and you cut that to 32 millimeters from whatever, some random start point. And then the other ones are lined up as so 20, 26, 18, 19.5, and 21 millimeters in length. This is pretty much it for the second step. You have the side I'm showing right now that will touch the chip. You just, you know, cut those wires up so they do not get messy around. And then on the other side, which is top side, you cut these wires to about 1 8 of an inch maybe. Uh, like four millimeters lengths and then you just lay them out on surface or on top of this adapter in such a way that you just make it easier for you to solder uh, the wires down later on and i'll show you that layout in a second in this step what i did i pre-soldered the top ends of the wires, six of them. And here we have the outcome of the soldering step. So as you can see, I just you know, bend and lay out the wires so they don't get messy. And make sure you don't have any touches between the wires because it does look dead. Cable in the future. But yeah, once you lay them out, uh, maybe move them around even more and then just fill it up on top with the hot glue from your glue gun. Alright, so once it's glue filled up uh, and almost ready to go, you have to trim the wires. So what I do for that is a wire trimming tools are its companion. Uh, so as you see, they're kind of angled from this side. So all I have to do is just lay them down flat and just trim it off. It leaves me about like half a millimeter length of the wire sticking out. And that's what I found is perfect when you need to touch the chips, pins. And I'll show you in a second how that looks like after you trim it. Before you trim though, make sure to straighten up this wire so they start off straight from their root um, because later on it's going to be somewhat harder to fix them up but yeah you're just ready to go so I just touch the, the uh, cutting pliers right against the bottom of the socket and just trim it like that and it's, let's say this is my trimmed wire just kind of like squeeze here and there's like a line it's going to be perpendicular to the pin from the chip so it's kind of like cuts into the pin 